Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Does it look a little different behind me? Needless to say, I've moved a lot of dirt in the last week or so. Thankfully, the 580 has held out for me, although it did start leaking a little bit from the torque converter, it looks like, or maybe the power shuttle, not sure. I'll have to look into that further, but it's still running and kicking. However, the barge wagon is about ready to bite the dust. The packing for the cylinder is about ready to be blown out. And when you fully extend it, and it has fluid inside of it and you go all the way to call it full push it shoots like a geyser let me show you guys cue the jeopardy music so i'll probably take this cylinder to the same place i've always taken my backhoe cylinders to get repacked but here you go watch oh okay that's uh Wow, that's way worse than it was earlier. So that's about 10 times worse than it was before. Guess I'm done using that. I can use it and not extend it all the way and it still works, but it's very easy to just overextend it and, well, make a mess. So I'll pull that off and take it to the same place I've taken all my cylinders for the 580, which will probably be another video in and of itself. But let me show you what I actually got done. The most notable thing I did was park the 580 in the front yard admittedly guys I'm taking advantage of this while I can before we actually have it seated nothing like walking out your front door in the morning and uh, seeing a backhoe in your front lawn but I don't think the wife's gonna go for that long term anyway uh, put like I said probably 15 to 20 loads of topsoil out here didn't really have to have clay to level things out it had a pretty good fall and I wasn't worried about bringing it up so much it's the front yard by and large it's done I'm gonna till it under with the tiller or may just even use a landscape rake to get it ready for seed but this is on the docket for seeding this fall we'll run around to the back of the house probably gonna seed to about here and go that way but i do want to show you guys the number of piles of topsoil that i have out here right now it's pretty impressive for a one-man operation and no real commercial equipment other than a backhoe. Moved a lot of dirt. I also spent a lot of time doing this. On the docket yet today is to get the tractor out with the box blade and level it out as best I can, hopefully seeding by the end of the week. So yeah, having machinery is awesome when it's not broken. It's always something though. It doesn't really matter how nice your equipment is, stuff is gonna break. That, uh, that barge wagon had worked like a champ for such a long time, and I don't think I pushed it too hard. It's just old. Yeah, so that area looks quite a bit different. Like I said, I still have some more to pull out of there, but I would say the large scale removal is done. So I'm gonna grab the tractor and hook up the Gannon box blade and level it out. Also fall project, sort through all my lumber figure out what's what's worth keeping and what's going to be burned there's a lot here better just wanted to knock down some of the big piles for the loader before I try to tackle them with the box blade there's still a good amount of elevation change but that's a foot and a half higher than that spot of clay there so good amount of work to do still The horsepower on this thing is really subpar. The tractor, not the shovel.
not perfect, but looks pretty decent, I'd say. I've got a break here where it falls off to the right and the left. The biggest thing I still need to do is make sure that water's not falling toward the house. You can see it's a little high up here. Naturally, that's how the ground always was, and I corrected a little bit with the clay that I brought in. We have this patio here sloping out, so I'm not too concerned. I'll just put a little bit more dirt here once it rains on it. And then that tiller should help me level things out too when I ultimately get around to seating. I'll tell you, good size box blade on that tractor. It's impressive. If that thing only had ag tires, I can't even imagine. But thanks for swinging through the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and come back and see me sometime. Also, drop a comment below. I love interacting with people along the way as I take on new projects out here. We'll see you on the next one.